I'm really back. I think it's better now. I disconnected and reconnected the internet. Oh, you guys got way ahead of me. Oh, don't stop talking. You can't see the game? Okay. Alright, we'll try again. I'm only gonna play for like half an hour more anyway. Then I gotta go to bed for work. Behold the village of the Simbani, from the pen where the injured cattle stay, the huts where we sleep, and the places where we work and play. Enter and be welcome. We are most honored, Mezi Mungo, to enter your village, Kwahiri. Kwahiri Simba Rakish, Kwahiri Buana. There's a little naked butt Simba. Kujambo Mabwana. Hatujamba Uhura Kujambo Simba. You both look healthy and happy to be home again. It's very good to be home. I'd be happy to show you both the way of the Simbani. We are honored. Come then, we will meet with the leader of the Simbani, the Lebon. Habari Lebon Mukabwa. Missouri warrior Uhura. Leban I, Uhura, warrior of the Simbani, be standing before you with two warriors from far lands. Habari, warriors. Missouri Sana, Leban Mukabwa. It is good to see you again, great leader of the Simbani people. It is good to see you, warrior Rakish. Leban, I have come here to bring peace to your people and the leopard men. I have sworn this by my honor. Missouri warrior Rakish, bring the leopard man chief to his knees before me and you shall have this peace you pledge. What has caused this great anger for the leopard men, Leban Mukabwa? The leopard men have always been our enemies. They be sneaky and not to be trusted, for they only travel at night. The worst of all be that they use magic. The leopard man is the enemy. If the Sambani be seeking a lost calf in the jungle at night, then the leopard man uses magic against him. A Sambani cannot fight magic, so he must retreat. The leopard man will not meet the Sambani in a fair fight. The leopard men will always be our enemies, and now they have made us call for war. They stole from us the spear of death, and for that they shall die. Then they will no longer be our enemy. There are ways to resolve the conflicts between the Simbani and the Leopard Men other than through waging war. I would like to see you, Leban of the Simbani, and the Chief of the Leopard Men, speak your grievances before the Hall of Judgment in Tarna. Perhaps there can yet be a peaceful resolution of conflict. No, Rakish. The Spear of Death is stolen, and we will fight to regain our pride. The worth of the spear will be paid in blood, not words. I have spoken, Kwaharini. Yes. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what happened um, in uh, Constantine. Farewell, Leban of the Simbani. May we yet meet again in peace. You all walk back to Uhura's hut to rest and discuss things before evening. It is good to be back in your own hut again, is it not, Uhura? Good. Very good. But Simba well worth leaving my home for. The Leban was most gracious to see us, yet I felt as though we were not welcome. I do not understand, for I have always respected him. How did we offend him, Uhura? I be not knowing, Rakish. The Sambani have lost much honor with the stealing of the Spear of Death. Still, for the Leban not to listen to your words of peace be not right. Perhaps he will listen another time. It be time we be sitting too much. Maybe we go out to the village. The villagers be waiting to see you again, Rakish. They be killing a young bullock in your honor, and the blood be very fresh. The Simbani celebrate your arrival with meat, milk, and dancing. It is late when you finally make it back to your hut. 
We were treated royally by the Sambani. That was meat from the Leban's own herd. I will head back to Tarna at first light. Find out what you can about what is going on. I do not think the Leban told us everything he knows. If you can find the Spear of Death, we may be able to convince the Leban that war is unnecessary. Good luck. Do whatever you can to win the respect of the Simbani. We will undoubtedly need their cooperation to restore peace. <laughs> you talk about the events of the day. It was indeed an exciting day today, young hero. I think that the Leban told us only what he wanted us to know about this war. When you have earned his trust, perhaps he will tell you more. I do not understand why the Leopard Men would want to fight the Simbani. The Leopard Men usually stay in the jungles. They are only out at night. The Simbani, on the other hand, stay on the savanna and hunt only by day. There is little interaction between the tribes. That the Leopard Men would suddenly start a war not only with the Simbani, but with my people as well, is something beyond my belief. The jungle is just to the east of here. The Leopard Men have their village hidden there somewhere. It is said to be protected by magic. Krisha believes that the spell on the Leopard Men village prevents outsiders from even seeing the village. It is said that no one can see what a Leopard Man does, not want one to see. The savannah is very beautiful, but it can be very dangerous as well. Take care as you travel, my friend. On the savannah, the places of safety are far apart. Do not travel too far from them before you know what you are doing. You will be safest in Tarna or the Simbani village. There is supposed to be a magical lake somewhere to the south that will be safe as well. Uhura will be glad to help you in any way she can, but she cannot go against the will of the Leban. Uhura is a warrior and she is sworn to obey. To prove that one is a warrior, one must undergo a series of trials testing one's skills. Through initiation, one becomes welcomed as a respected adult in this tribe. I want to be recognized as an adult. The trials vary each time, but are designed to test both physical skills and cunning. The trials can be done alone or in competition. Sometimes several young ones undergo an initiation at the same time. As I said, I will go back to Tarna and find out if Krisha has learned anything more about demons. Learn what you can from the Sambani. Return to Tarna, Tarna whenever you need to do so. Until I know for certain that demons are again released into Tarna, I need to stay near my brother. Raja still believes that war is honorable. He will be trying to convince the council to declare war upon the Leopard Men. Unless I am in Tarna, Raja may succeed in starting this war. To the Simbani, the essence of honor is trust. They are a very open people and share evenly with all members of the tribe. To the Lion Tours, honor is a matter of pride and obeying the laws of Tarna. To the Paladin, honor is doing whatever it takes to bring about the greatest good for all. The attack upon the peace mission is an attack upon the Lion Tours. It is only our word that stands between Tarna and war. The Pledge of Honor for Peace means that we must do everything we can to learn the truth behind the attack upon the peace mission. We must do everything in our power to bring the Leopard Men and the Simbani together and end this enmity. En enmity. Enmity? I feel in my soul that my daughter is still alive. When we find her, we will know the truth. We must find her. The way of the paladin is very difficult and lonely at times, for you tr must trust your own heart to know what is right and not the judgment of others.
The longer you stay here, the more the Simbani and the Leban will learn to respect you. However, do not use magic before the Simbani. They distrust and fear magic. Yeah, I know. Good night. Amnony does not mean friendship. It's the opposite. Rakish left the hut at first light. You vaguely remember hearing his farewell. Already day five. Time flies. Okay, well, I think there's a training ground around here, if I recall. Oh, go, that's right. Welcome, Prince of Shaipir. Uhura be telling us that you soon here. I am Yusefu. Missouri, Prince of Shaipir. I am the son of the Leban. I am also a very good Awari player. That is the game you see before me. This is the game of Awari. I will be happy to show you how it is played. The side near me be my side. The hole on the end at your left be my home. The hole on the end at your right be your home. Three stones you put in all the other holes. We be taking turns moving stones from one hole to another. You move first. Pick a hole on your side and move all the stones to the right. Drop one stone in each hole. If the last stone land in your home, then you get one more turn. If the last stone land in an empty hole, then you capture all the stones across from it. You get to put them and the capturing stone in your home. The game ends when either sides have no more stones. Only home have stones. The player with the most stones in his home be the winner. The other player be the loser. We be playing just for fun because you have no cows. <laughs> I let you play the first stones. Oh, sorry. Sir, I feel like you're cheating. My people have a saying, Haba na haba hujaza kibabe. Little and little fill the kibaba measure. This means doing things a little at a time will get things done. I think about this while playing Awari. Understand now. Mm -hmm. 
star. Whatever. <laughs> what did you eat for dinner? Oh, I shouldn't have told him that. Can you put me in this cage? This is the place where the Simbani practice throwing spears. No Simbani warrior will ever use a sword, since you cannot very well throw a sword in battle. If you are interested, I will be happy to teach you how to throw a spear. I'm ready. That wasn't too bad. Could be worse. Thanks. Whoops. I had a salad for lunch, and then I made myself biscotti for dinner. Oh man, I'm doing worse. Oh boy, that was embarrassing. <laughs> my paladin points have gone up my communication and honor my throwing yeah my stamina is 51 out of 143 resting here could be hazardous to your health I'm just hanging here with Uhura Well, I guess that's enough training for today, then, Uhura. Isn't there, like, a jumping one somewhere? No, oh, it's that one. Yeah, this thing. I remember this thing. Habari, hero of Shaipir. This is where the place where Simbani practice balance and judgment. This is the wrestling bridge. The last part of the initiation contests are held here. Two 
two warriors be standing on the bridge and facing each other, they each be trying to make the other lose his balance. The skill of balancing important, but so too be judging the right moves to counter your opponent and knock him off. This be a tough competition and requires much practice. I do need to practice my agility. Oh, I was so close, though. It's just that one spot's a little slippery. <laughs> Right here, Reggie. Watch it. Don't just stand there and watch me. I'm going to be such a buff paladin mage when I get to the fourth game. <gasps> you did it, Reg! Good job. Oh, you increased your agility. Oh. Don't be too embarrassed. Please stop watching me fail. Oh, this uh, this music reminds me of uh Habari. Sorry. Goodbye. Oh dear. Run, Reggie. Are you running? You look like you're striding. There you go. <laughs> you got away this time. <sighs> As you approach this pool of bubbling water, you feel a sense of serenity and peace. Thank you. 
Aw, as you pet it soft fur, the cheetah seems to purr. There's a strong aura of magic here, particularly near the large rock. You had a bad habit of dozing off during Rune Lore 101, but this one you remember. It's the symbol for peace. Oops, don't leave Arana's pond yet. There is a feeling of peace and serenity here. This reminds you a bit of Arana's peace in Spielberg. You have the same comfortable feeling that nothing will harm you here. Because nothing will, my dear. Arana won't let it. Made it back by sunset. Bye-bye. How do you like our village? It's not large, for it holds but a few families this time of year. Next season, we move to a larger village, and more families will be joining us. The village wall is keeping the dangerous animals away and the children from running too far. My sister says she's chasing Simba most every day, so the fence is a very good thing. My sister watches Simba during the day while I guard the cattle or the village. My sister Nayasha is newly wedded and longs for her baby. Simba is a very good lesson to her. Now Simba's sleeping after running most of the day. He be most dear to me, leaving the village for him a very good idea. I am a warrior. A wife cannot be a warrior. I'm not wanting some stuck-up man thinking I am his, so I leave the Simbani. When I go to Shaipir, I meet a fine, strong man. He like me, I like him. He make fine, strong son. So I come home. Now I'm still a warrior, but have a son too. Uh. All right, well, good night. I don't suppose Le Bon wants to talk to me. Ah, figured. Night night. I think also night night for me. Because it is now ten o'clock. And I have work in the morning. <laughs> Well, this has been fun. I will maybe resume tomorrow or another day. Not sure when night. But we will follow more adventures of Reggie the Paladin. Good night, all.